Hello Bitlanders, hello people of the internet and welcome to Let's Play Retro. Today we're going to be playing Metal Slug 1. It's a video game that has been released uh, in 1995 in the New Geo Arcade, then New Geo Console, and since then it was uh, released on, I think, on Dreamcast, on PlayStation 1 and recently on the handheld device uh, from New Geo, it's called New Geo X, and it's the, the first in the the series of Metal Slug, I think, uh, they're now they are in Metal Slug up to Metal Slug 6. And actually, I've lost touch with this series since the Metal Slug 5, so I'm not sure how the Metal Slug 6 is like, but I'm sure that. All the ones that I played from the Metal Slug 1 to 2 to 2 to 3 to X are quite very good games. I mean, when it comes to platform 2D platformers, and at the time there was it was actually like cutting edge technology, and it's really unique by its uh, cartoonic style. And it's fun to play, especially when it comes to two players mode. And it's really fun. So here we are. Metal Slug 1. We are on the first mission. Now I'm equipped by the heavy machine gun. And the basic And the basic commands is actually is to walk, I mean to move forward, move backward, and uh, you can shoot up or shoot down, and you can actually shoot like using your firearm or when you're in tank like to use tank and shoot the way I'm doing right now, and you can jump and you can shoot like bombs, and you can see on the top the how many bombs I have left and how many arms I have right now. When you are in the tank it's unlimited, you can shoot how, as many uh, as much as you want and uh, there is a lot of uh, hidden places if I remember correctly now there is a hidden place here where you can save these prisoners and when you save these prisoners they give you like rewards. And here we are facing the boss number Uno. It is actually the easiest boss in the series, I think. Because he has like specific pattern, once you notice it, it's easy to escape it and fight back. He's already dead. We finished him. So here we go, the mission one is over. I cannot say that I'm a, uh, I have a, I mean like a particular skill when it comes to playing. So you can expect me dying in like in the dumbest ways possible in this game. And it has been like so many years since I played this game. I played this game like when it was uh, the first time I played the slow one. It was like anyway, I was like. Uh, Eight, nine years old. So it was like uh, 16 or 18 years since I played it the first time. And it has actually been a while since I've played it, like uh, years now. So I, I, I missed him by as long as I missed. So I don't. I forgot a lot of the details of this game. So expect me to die in the weirdest ways possible, in the most stupid positions, in the most stupid. Cases. Like this one, where I have to shoot these soldiers and oh, it's gonna be smart. I survived! <laughs> okay, so here we go. Now I'm equipped with the uh, 
It's called, I think, the fire. Anyway, it's fire thrower or something like this. Now, I'm equipped with the rocket launcher, one of my favorite weapons in the slot. Okay, would you try, please? I have to save the world. I don't know if I'm, I have to save the world or not, but most likely it is because, you know, video games are most likely revolving about saving the world. Oh, they actually don't like showing. Yeah. This is a stupid thing to do during war. Now I have lost the rocket launcher, and then I got another rocket launcher here. It makes it easier for me to just blast them away. Another rocket launcher? And here we go. I think there's another ship or boat I have to get to. Oh, yeah. Into it. This is it. This is the last one if I remember correctly. Die, please. The shotgun. This is my favorite weapon in the slot. Just notice the animation when I shoot him. He's like he's being shot to the edge of the screen. Okay. Just to see is how much how powerful he is. Just takes just two shots. Destroy the tank. Yup. I have four shots and I'm gonna go with the heavy machine gun. Oh, I really do hate this guy. Get in the tank and start squeezing them. Okay, that's all we have. Pennies, seriously. You need to give me a shirt. I am grateful. They look really like homeless people. You know, this planes, airplanes are really annoying. I mean, every time I think about the theme of the game, it reminds me of Nazi Germany, I don't know why, but it does. I think this is what they had in mind. I'm gonna try my best to... make... the biggest damage I can. While I'm on the tank, oh, I hate this. I really do hate this when you start shooting those balls. This is how you destroy a plane during the war using a tank. <laughs> Thank you. I saved uh, up to seven prisoners, I think. Eight prisoners, this is good. I think I haven't died yet, if I remember correctly. I haven't died, yeah, I haven't lost any lives. Missing mission two complete. Now I hit uh, mission three and Metal Slug one. Now it's all. Snow and ice. Uh, sorry guys, I'm a bit under the weather today, so I may be sneezing or something like that. Hopefully not, not during the coming through this way. Okay, I'm going to you now. Oh, you almost had me. There is more. No! 
this is this is very stupid. Like in the most stupid way possible. Okay. And in Little Slog you can take down a helicopter using a gun. Ooh. An anal shot. <laughs> okay. Oh I hate this guy. I really do hate this guy. Because he's like a sneaky bastard. Okay, now I have to, to keep to, to keep shooting this button so this kind of this is off sliding door flies out. So I can go in and do whatever I want and destroy the whole building. Right. And you get rewarded by the chicken. I like chicken. Okay. Thank you. Oh. I think they are trying to conquer the world using some sort of giant snowman. Oh, this one. This is the one that I hate the most. You cannot just play. He just always manages to take you down. Oh no. Shit. Yeah, I really do hate this guy. Yeah, he could be just twice in like two seconds. Die. He die and go to hell. Yeah, he just said see you in hell. No thank you, I'm planning on going to heaven. Please for now. Thank you. Get down. It's not safe to play in high places. The sneaky bastards, I think they haven't noticed them yet. Ooh. I really like this shotgun weapon. The one is yeah, he's on the toilet. He actually went inside this toilet. That toilet. Too dead. For once. Using shotgun and just destroyed a complete building. How whack is that? Stop shooting me. Well, if I wanted to make it to the boss without dying, I think I have to keep and survive using this. Mm. They got me. Hopefully, I manage. Walk all the way to the boss. No, he just found me. Okay, I don't know what. Yeah. So. Now we arrive to the boss, the boss of the fourth mission. This is actually a pretty easy boss to kill. Oh no! He just smoothed me out. I wasn't prepared. You shithead.
think that I was gonna make the same mistake once. Just, I don't know why you shoot the boss on the wrong side. There is the boss and shoot that one. He killed me once, not once. He just killed me twice. Shit. You mix all that shit, man. You're not gonna kill me the third time. No. You just did. Screw you. I'm trying to take my revenge now. So this was the end of the mission for the Metal Slug 1. I'm really pissed that this boss was able to kill me three times. It's completely stupid, it's just like... <sighs> I don't know. Sometimes you know, just... Uh... You see? You see? God damn it. On this mission I'm gonna be faced by uh, some sort of soldiers that jump using and try to slay you using knives. This is the goddamn one that I was going to tell you about. Shit, man. Yeah, it seems like once you die there is no going back. You can just keep, keep on dying. This is one of the annoying places here. What the hell is wrong? Do I remember that they can fall on you even if you don't shoot them? It's really annoying when this happens. I must try and bring this down. No. This really do. Okay, now I'm about to die. See? So if you cannot, if you don't kill it and destroy it before you continue, it's gonna fight you in the ass. And then two soldiers. I'm really pissed because they, they managed to kill me as much as they can. Die. Die. Okay, so there's no way to escape this. Okay, we'll try and destroy these two before I continue to the third one. Okay, would you mind dying? Come back here, you bastard.
And they gave me the Midrunner's Raw there. Once and some stupid soldiers back then was were able to just cut my throat open. Mission 4 is complete. Now we're gonna 